Mr. Tomlinson, for you to take time out of your schedule and drop by here today, it's quite an honor. Yeah, you're right, Walter, it is. I'll tee off in 20 minutes. Yeah, but I felt the need to come down and speak with you first. To be quite honest with you, Walter, we were a little concerned about hiring a principal from a smaller school district. But I think you're going to do just fine here in the big leagues. <laughs> just as long as you do everything I say. <laughs> well, I'm grateful for the chance, Fred. May I call you Fred? No. Okay. Well, promise I won't let you down. Well, as head of the school board, it's my responsibility to make sure that you don't. You know what? Let's, uh, let's lose these pictures. It looks like they were done by kids. <laughs> <laughs> discuss this. Why would anyone come to your haunted house if they'll already be at mine? Well, I thought people should have a choice. A choice is good. Excuse me? Are you under the illusion this is a democracy? Okay. What if we were to work together on one haunted house and well, that way we'd be sure to win? Hey, we could call it Stella and Terry's domicile of doom. Or Terry and Stella's. Here, ladies, go buy yourself some style. Walk with me, Stella. I don't think you understand how this works. I was like you, once. The new kid in town, living alone, afraid, wondering, will I ever be popular? <gasps> but if you stick with me, that all changes. You'll have tons of friends. Once I see you're part of my inner circle, all the other kids will be sucking up to you. Then, of course, there's my own personal friendship to consider. I do have connections. All you need to do is just forget about this silly haunted house of yours. Quit it! Leave me alone! Let me go! Hey, Albert, it's time to play our favorite game, Geek in the Box. Hey! My watch! You broke it! Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, quit it! Leave me alone! Terry, make them stop! What for? He's just a sniveling little bookworm. Make like a sardine, Albert, and get in the can. Stop it! I'm sorry. On, you have violated a secure perimeter. Please close Stella's locker immediately. Without proper authorization, this is a violation of locker security procedures. Which locker did we put that third grader in? I don't know. going on here? Oh, Daddy. Daddy, she did this. Stella Blackstone. Oh, okay, honey. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Hi, Dad. Oh, I mean, Principal Blackstone. What in the... Your daughter certainly has a way with practical jokes. I hope it doesn't run in the family. Stella, just exactly what are you doing? What is this? Well, what do you know about that? Them poor blokes is just at the wrong place with the wrong slime. <laughs> I think we need to talk. Do you have any idea how hard it was to get that purple stuff out of my hair? And Mr. Tomlinson, just imagine what he's thinking. Stella's in trouble. Kelly, just stop. Dad, I've already told you it was not me. Oh, sticking her tongue out, that's gonna hurt. Advantage Kelly. Stella, I realize it's hard having a principal for a father, but I need you to set an example. Are you gonna help me? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, 
No, I won't do it again, Dad. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Jack O'Lantern, Lord of the Pies. I am not listening to you. Well, how can I make you understand it if you won't even listen? No, no, I mean, I wasn't talking to you, Dad. I don't see anybody else here. <laughs> Where's the kitchen? Look, there is a simple explanation for all of this. It's in the fridge. Explanation for what, honey? For all the practical jokes. It has to do with the robbery that happened yesterday uh, down at the museum. Oh, it seems to me I read something about that. Didn't one of the robbers get killed? No, he wasn't a robber. He was a cab driver, or so he says, and he visited me last night at my creepy creature factory. Stella had a burglar in the garage. Kelly, please. Now, Stella, how could he visit you if he's dead? That is what I'm trying to tell you. He is a ghost, and he's torturing me, so I'll help him steal the statue back so he can move on to a better place. This reminds me of an article I read in Teen Psychology about how a young person can project his or her fears in the physical world in order to overcome them. All the experts seem to agree that when a boy or girl invents an invisible friend, it's a sure sign that the child is feeling alone and out of touch. But, Mom, I'm not the child. I'm Stella Blackstone. Mom, what if I am right? No, Winston, just stop! Stella, what are you doing? Well, it's not me, that is what I'm trying to tell you! Stella, enough is enough. Stop it, Winston! Mom, I'm all messy! Oh, oh. Okay, that's it. Young lady, you are excused. Stella, listen carefully. Another stunt of any kind, and you're grounded. That's no haunted house, nothing. Understand? Yes, Dad. <gasps> Winston, what are you trying to do? Get me grounded for life? Yep, and I'm gonna keep on doing it till you see things my way. Uh, like right now, I'll scream so loud, you'll be grounded for the next four lives. <gasps> Winston, don't. Or maybe I'll just put a scare into him. <laughs> Hello, happy parents. Message from Stella. Stella! Stella! Hand over, Streaker. Please, like I haven't heard that one before. Or I could help Terry Tomlinson with her haunted house. Okay, I give up. You win. Look, I'll help you first. But only if you promise to help me in return. Miss Blackstone? I do believe we have a deal. Oh, yeah! Hey, oh, who's your daddy now? Who's your daddy now? Ain't anybody 